It's Tech Jackson School News with Gabe and Dave. With your report on the field, Gabe and DJ Danny G. Sports with Jack Lambeau Fields Miller. Weather with Vinny Rainmaker Van Scottsman. This is Tech Jackson School News Live at 6 o'clock. So what do we have in store for us today, Dino? News, Gabe. Lots of news. Lots of news indeed, Dino. We'll kick it off with some news from inside our own school. At Fairchurch Secondary School, there has been many recent altercations with the dress code. Most students seem to be on one end of this argument, where they think that the dress code is too strict. Many argue that the time shows personality and reflects the person, while on the other end, teachers argue that it is inappropriate and unnecessary. Now we have our own Gabriel Henry to bring us the story firsthand. Here at Bear Creek Secondary School, summer weather is approaching us quickly, and along with summer weather, it's called summer attire. We're here to talk to the kids at Bear Creek about the dress code and what their views are. He's a very nice man, I have to say. Christopher, Christopher, I would like to talk to you about a very serious matter here at Bear Creek, the dress code. What are your thoughts on the dress code? Do you find it too strict or not strict enough? I think it's kind of, it's not, it is too strict, I guess. Now, I find a lot of the students here at Bear Creek uh, have the same input on the dress code. And have you found yourself ever violating the dress code, though? Mm, no, that's very, very difficult uh, for guys to do. I think the dress code is generally oriented to females wearing spaghetti straps, etc., which personally I don't see anything wrong with it unless, of course, they're just parading around naked, which, again, you know, whatever. It's your own preference. I see, I see. And not only just too much skin showing or some uh, of the teachers would find it too much of like a sexual attire, but what about just even wearing hats inside the school? Apparently it's to show respect, but I am very capable of wearing a hat and showing respect at the same time. All right, thank you very much. I'm Gabriel Henry reporting from Bear Creek News. Yes, sir. I'm here with Robert Barnes from Bear Creek Secondary School, talking to him about his views on the dress code. What do you think, Rob? I agree with the dress code. We need to cover these people up. Rob, do you think that the teachers here at Bear Creek are enforcing the dress code enough or too much? I do not think they're enforcing us enough. This is a serious issue we have here, man. <laughs> like, these kids, like some of them, they think that they can just wear like t-shirts now. It's ridiculous. And then you see people with muscle shirts, like, seriously. No sweaters all the way? Sweaters, all the sweaters, turtlenecks, whatever covers the most, man. If they made clothes that cover your face, that's all I'd wear. Um, I don't usually really care because I'm pretty wholesome, <laughs> but dance class is an exception. <laughs> Do you feel Last Thursday, Bear Creek held its own annual Battle of the Bands, where four bands played in front of the student body during fifth period. The four bands that played this year were the Box Social Madness, Red Rock Society, Skeptic, and Madur. Madur played too long, and the Box Social Madness won. Wow, that is very interesting. Something else at Bear Creek uh, seems to be happening. Uh, iPods, they seem to be very popular. And although they're great and may be very useful, should they be allowed to be used in school? Many students say that they help concentrate during quiet periods, but teachers seem to think they're a distraction. Honestly, I believe they help as long as you use them in the right, in the correct time. What do you think, Dave? Uh, now we have DJ Danny G and TV with some news on gas prices right after this break.
Hi, I'm Danny Gardner. I'm your reporter in the field, and we've got all the information on gas prices coming up. As the price of gas rises, many party goers are expected to stay home. All right, so how do you feel about gas prices? You know what I think about gas prices? I just think about your kids, you know? Your kids are not even be able to drive cars because the price is going to be at like five bucks a liter or something, and it's going to be like, that's nuts. So in like 10 years, gas, gas like, uh, powered vehicles, not even going to exist. That's all I got to say. So that's the future for us here? Yes, no more gas. That's what's going to happen. And how do you feel about George Bush? He's gay. Thank you. Feel about the rising of gas prices? Do you like Pepsi or Coke? Mm-hmm, that's nice. Yeah. Pepsi or Coke? Gas prices are expected to stay high all summer. Now, as you can see, many cars are still driving. We take a look up here. We've got this nice black car. I think it's stolen, though. Well, that son of a bitch, I'll get him. We're live on the set of Porno Valley. So how do you feel about the rise of gas prices? Oh, I hate them. They're getting way too high. How has it affected your life? Uh, I can't get to places I need to, like rugby or school. It doesn't work. Pretty good. <laughs> so, are you interested in taking the public transit? Uh, no. I don't like the people that ride it. So, as you can see, she doesn't like the rising of gas prices, neither do I, those son of a bitches. When we went to interview people, they became so upset and confused, they forgot the basic functions of life. In this case, our interviewees dropped their pants in effort to protect themselves from the truth. And as you can see, many people are leaving their cars stranded. Now, we're in a parking lot right now. This nice Pontiac Sunbury looks very crappy, but you can see it has no gas in it at all. That sucks. Looks like a nice car for the drive-in, though. Let's take a look. Looks like, yeah, looks nice. See some blankets in there. Looks nice, yeah. All right. No Tweety Bird in the window, though. See some stains on the seat. Looks kind of nasty. But let's move on. Take a look at this car over here. Follow me, get a little closer. All right, we have, we're getting nice class, all right? This is a 2008 something something or other. I don't know the exact name because no one ever tells me shit around here. Damn it, you people. Dang. All right, so we're live here in downtown Detroit. We got the KKKs and how do you feel about the gas prices? Go fuck yourself. Damn right, all right? Next contestant on the prices, right? How do you feel about gas prices? Angry. Oh. Very angry. I went to ask other people about gas. They became enraged and broke out in a heated fight. Randy and Joe betrayed each other in attempts for the gas. Gas is good. I chili. They broke each other's car windows, and Randy got a black eye. We're live here at Misty's Bar and Grill parking lot. We're talking to Kelsey's twin sister, uh, Felika. And as you can see, her car is not looking too good. She can't afford gas prices. And how do you feel about that? Oh, oh. I saw that coming. I don't know. Oh. Gas prices, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All you lovely couples going up to the Arctic this weekend, here's a tip from Christopher Walken. The ice is gonna break! Now back to you. <laughs> Douchebag. Last week, the senior boys rugby team was kicked out of the playoffs and they traveled to Twin Lakes and suffered a disappointing loss. They tried their hardest, but in the end it wasn't enough, but, and they lost by just a few points. <laughs> Another season begins, though, as the senior football team begins training this week at their first exhibition game today at 3.30. This is Lambeau Field signing off. All right, now we'll combine with uh, the weather. Is that even the Hi, I'm Vinny, Rainmaker Van Skoshevich, with all the weather for this week. Let's take a look at our current conditions right now. You can see low, low precipitation rising to the east. And now we're going to take a look at our weekly forecast. Our 10-day forecast, today is going to be cloudy with showers, a high of 30 degrees. Winds going to the east and uh, uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour, 50% chance of rain. For tomorrow, we have cloudy skies, chance of showers, and uh, winds of 30 degrees. Thursday, we have a chance of a uh, thunderstorm and a high of 70. Saturday, scatter thunderstorms as possible and uh, lows of 60 and 70. 
All right, and uh, Friday and Saturday we have partially cloudy skies, scattered storms, and uh, low precipitation. And that's all for the weather. This is all the news for today, folks. Catch you on the flip side. I can't, I can't.